I recently purchased a Stream Deck and I was trying to get it to work with Microsoft PowerPoint. But it turns out it's not as easy as it sounds. But I figured it out and in this video I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. This is my dual monitor setup. On the second monitor, I have OBS Studio running and I also have Microsoft PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is currently in presentation mode, which means if I want to go to the next slide, I can click on the arrow here. And similarly, if I want to go to the previous slide, I can click on the arrow here. I can program these actions of going to the next slide or previous slide on my stream deck, but they will only work if the PowerPoint is the active window. In this scenario, PowerPoint is running behind while the active window is OBS Studio. In this case, the actions that I create here will not work. However, I have created two actions on my stream deck to go to the next slide and to the previous slide. If I press this key, it will automatically search for PowerPoint, bring it in front and move it to the next slide. Similarly, if I go to the previous slide, I just have to click this button and it doesn't matter whether the PowerPoint is the active window or the inactive window, it will just work. The solution has two parts. The first part is provided by this gentleman by the name of Hans. I have left a link to his article in the video description. This solution only works on Windows by installing a program called AutoHotkey. Download and install the program by clicking on the download button. I chose to install the current version. And once it is downloaded, install it like any other Windows application. Once you install the application, if you right click anywhere and select new, you should get an option here called AutoHotkey script. Click on it and it will create for you a script file. Let's call it PowerPoint Navigation. To edit the script, right click and click Edit Script. Hans was generous enough to provide us the script to move forward and backward in PowerPoint. Let me go to his article and copy the script by selecting it with my mouse key and press Ctrl C to copy it. Next, go back to the script file and paste it here. We don't have to know anything about programming. What Hans has done is he has mapped two keys, F13 and F14. What F13 does is it identifies if PowerPoint is currently open in Windows. If it is, it will bring it on top and it will send a keystroke page down so that PowerPoint will move to the next event, usually the next slide. Similarly, F14 does the opposite. You should note that a standard keyboard usually doesn't have F13 and F14, which means that this can only be triggered from Elgato Stream Deck. Once everything is OK, click on File and Save and close this. Next, we open Stream Deck. As you can see, I have already mapped the next and previous on my Stream Deck. Let me delete it and show you how you can do it from scratch. I will click on the Delete button and delete this action. From the list of actions to the right, I go to System and I will select Hotkey. Drag and drop it into this empty slot. Let me give it a name. I will call it Next. Let me choose a relevant icon. Click on this plus sign. Scroll till you find an icon that you like. I like this icon, so click on it and close the icon window. For the hotkey, click on this arrow and select F keys. From the list, we will select F13, which is what Hans has mapped to go forward. Similarly, if I look at the previous, you can see that I have mapped F14. And that's all there is to it. If I press this key now, it will bring PowerPoint in front and move to the next slide. The second part of our solution is to make sure that this script file that we have created is automatically executed by the computer so that the actions are ready. To do that, I will right click and I can either copy or cut because I don't need to keep it on the desktop anymore. In the search box, type percentage app data percentage. 
This will take you to your specific user folder. From here, locate Microsoft and double click. Next, go to Windows. Then the Start menu, Programs, Startup. And right click and paste that file here. What this will do is that every time Windows starts up, it will come to this folder and it will execute the action. So you don't have to do it manually. And that is how you use Stream Deck to control PowerPoint, even when PowerPoint is not the active window. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel as it motivates me to create more content like this. Have fun playing with your Stream Deck.